Hello friends, welcome to MS Optic Webcast. In this video, we will see the steps to create mirrored storage space in Windows Server 2016. In the previous video, we created one storage pool using two hard disks. And this is the storage pool which we created in last video. Test pool 1 and here you can see numbers of physical disk for test pool 1 and that is 1 and 2. The total size of our storage pool is 399 GB. After creating a storage pool, you have to create virtual disk on it. On virtual disk, you can create a logical drive just like you create on physical drive. So when you create virtual disk on existing storage pool, you have to select virtual disk storage layout. You have options to select simple, mirror or parity storage layout. In the last video, we created one virtual disk on our storage pool named VDisk1 and here you can see the layout of that virtual disk is simple. If you want to create a mirror storage space, at least two physical disks are required in storage pool to create a resilient mirror virtual disk. And in our demonstration, we have a two hard disk in our storage pool. That's why we are able to create mirror storage space. So let's create one another virtual disk with mirror layout. First of all, you have to open SAW Manager and on a SAW Manager console, you have to click on File and Storage Services. Then you have to click on Storage Pools and here you can see the list of storage pools available on your server. In my demonstration, I have a Test Pool 1. Now select Test Pool 1 Storage Pool and under Virtual Disk, click on Task and select New Virtual Disk. Select Storage Pool again, Test Pool 1 and then click on OK. Click on Next on Before You Begin console. Now you have to specify the name of virtual disk which you want to create. For this demonstration, I'm going to give a name vdisk2 hyphen mirrored. Let's click on next, next again. Now here we have to select storage layout. By default selected options is mirrored. Mirror storage layout is similar to red one. Data is duplicated across two or more disks, increasing reliability but decreasing the total size in a half. This configuration protects data from a single drive failures if you are using at least two disks. So select mirror layout and then click on next. Now you have to specify the provisioning type thin or fix. If you select fix, the volume used space from the storage pool equal to the volume size which you specified during the creation of your volume. If you select thin provisioning, the volume used space from the storage pool as needed up to the volume size which you specify. Let's select thin and then click on next. Now I'm going to specify the size for this demonstration. I'm going to give 100 GB and then let's click on next. Now let's click on create to create new virtual disk with mirrored storage layout. And that's it. Let's click on close and here we have a, another virtual disk named vdisk2 hyphen mirrored and here you can see the layout type is a mirror. And now let's create a new volume on our newly created mirrored storage space. Let's select VDisk2, right click on it and select new volume. Click on next. Now select disk5. Click on next. On this console, you have to specify the size of the volume which you want to create. For this demonstration, we want to use maximum size. That's why I'm not going to specify any custom size. Let's click on next. Now here, I'm going to select drive letter M for mirror. Let's click on next. Let's select REFS file system to format this volume. Click on next and click on create to create a volume. Okay, let's click on close to close this wizard. And finally, you are ready to use your storage pool. Let's open file explorer. Let's click on this PC. And here we go. This is the, our volume which we created on our mirror storage space. That concludes the video demonstration on how to create mirrored storage space in Windows Server 2016. That's it for this demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.